Sorry, I was in mute. <laughs> Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We're all George. So today we got to talk about this one 17 year old kid that made a million dollars just with an airdrop. He became a millionaire just from this big airdrop from Jupiter. How did he do it? And what is Jupiter? What does that have to do with anything? Let's talk about it. Let's also talk about what happened with Bitcoin. What happened after the Fed meeting? What was said that was so important that crashed the markets? And more importantly, will markets recover tomorrow? Let's talk about that as, as well. All right, let's do this. Welcome, 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 guys. You know what? I'm going to start with the Jupiter news first. All right, let's get that out of the way. So this has been talked about for several weeks now. And I've covered this many, many times. Jupiter is a DEX aggregator. It's a DeFi project within Solana. Very hyped up because they've been talking about doing an airdrop for quite a long time. Phase one of four parts that happened today. And this morning when it happened, you know, I was checking it out, right? Overall, the market cap stable around, stabilized around 800 something. Uh, it's 866 million right now. It did fall from, from, you know, when it first debuted, but it settled still pretty good debut at around $900 million, right? And all you had to do was use Jupiter. That's it. All the memes that's going on right now and all the trading, had you just used Jupiter and made a lot of trades, a lot of transactions used it, you would have got some airdrop. You have to claim it, yes, uh, but you would have you would have claimed a ton, a ton. And Jupiter, I mean, it processed 1.2 million transactions, a billion dollars in volume today. It was definitely the hottest, hottest DeFi projects, hottest Dex. And also, it made Solana's transaction double in minutes just after the airdrop. This is how hot it was, right? It goes to show you what one good dApp can do for an entire ecosystem. That's why sometimes memes has the same results because they are people driver, right? This right now, airdrop is a people driver. It's a new thing that's getting a lot of attention. Before there were airdrops, but now... A lot of projects are starting to realize, well, you know what? We could use airdrop to incentivize people and their usage, right? And then reward them for their usage. It's actually starting to work. We had Jitto that did it earlier this, no, they did it like late last year. I keep thinking we're in the same year, but they did it successfully. Now Jupiter is even more successful. So I bet you a lot more projects in the future, a lot, especially DEXs will be doing this, right? And, and, and causing a lot of, Causing a lot of uh, a lot of trading, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Solana, even as overloaded as it was today, had 100% uptime. It did not crash. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've been waiting for over a year for Solana to crash. Not that I was really waiting for it, but I was. You know, fingers crossed that wouldn't happen, especially with high volume today. It did have very high volume and it didn't flinch. So that is absolutely fantastic for Solana overall, right? Because, you know, obviously years ago, many, many outages due to high transactions, tra uh, high volume. No problem today. But that relates to the, the big topic, which is this guy right here. And he claims that he made $1 million from the Jupiter airdrop today for free, for free, right? And he makes this video that's basically explained how he did it and how you could do it with the next three rounds. There will be three more rounds. The first round was today. I believe they're going to do one round every year. So the next one will be same time in 2025, then 2026, 2027. I remember every round is a year, but maybe maybe they change the timetable. Um, but basically, he was saying, to sum up, he had a routine every day. He would do like certain things. And basically, he would try to utilize Jupiter as much as possible and try to trade as much as possible. Like quite literally, you could go there. I mean, you go pay for fees. But you could literally just swap between two tokens nonstop all day long, right? And just generate a lot of fake transactions. You could, 
But again, yeah, there's there's fees involved. But on Solana, fees are low. But you, you could literally do like let's say Sol to Jupiter, and then Jupiter back to Sol, and then back to Jupiter, back to Sol, back to Jupiter. You could literally do that like a thousand times a day, uh, just to kind of game the system. But again, um, how long you could do it for? I don't know. But basically, that's what this guy's saying. You know, you got to use it a lot. He was doing it religiously for a long period of time that's how you made a million dollars i mean it just goes to show you what what other you know what other asset class gives you the ability to do this right to be able to have someone just utilize a system and become a millionaire by doing so really without putting much money into it i mean it's just absolutely amazing really really amazing so just want to talk about that real quick okay because it seems like it's a good Good story to talk about a lot of you guys you know want to make a lot of money uh and this kid made it within you know within a very short amount of time so it's always possible it's always possible all right now let's move to bitcoin bitcoin well i mean it did go down a little bit but overall we're just going sideways right like said again when in doubt zoom out right we're literally just going sideways even though it seemed like we went down a bit but overall we're, we're going sideways you can see this is sideways moving right here but what happened after the fed meeting to summarize to summarize powell basically said you know what we're serious about getting down to two percent inflation rate okay we want to be at two percent so we're going to keep the rates the way they are and basically kind of squashed the notion that there will be a cut in March. Okay, basically, I don't know where the rumor came from, but like supposedly, you know, there's rumors that he was thinking about doing a cut in March. And he basically squashed that saying, I don't think it's going to happen. It's just too soon, right? And that's to be expected. I, I March is just too soon. It's probably gonna be sometime in the summer, June or July. That's when he will do it, right? But that, that's basically all he said. And, and of course, he always puts on that hawkish tone. And uh, he can never come off dovish. He always wants to sound very serious, which is fine. In this position, you got to do that, right? Um, but you know what? You know what? I saw this. This is pretty damning. Remember last year, we had several big banks collapse, right? And Daddy Powell had to loan them a lot of money, money that he didn't have. So Fed's balance sheet went in the negative even more. Um, but, you know, the bank that acquired Signature Bank, they fell 40% today because they had pretty bad earnings. So the irony of that is the bank that bought the bad bank could be going under themselves. So what is Powell going to do? Is he gonna bail them out with more emergency loans, or is someone else like J.P. Morgan go come in and buy them up? I don't know, but goes to show you banks are, are not as solid as you may think. A lot of banks, you know, they're they're struggling too. They're struggling too, and that's the whole point of crypto to one day replace banks, so we don't have to rely on this archaic system that really just takes your money and leverages it 10x because that's all they're doing. You know, the, the point of banks is to give out loans, right? Um, and how they do that is by taking your money and they borrow 10 times against that and then they loan it out. That's it is fractional banking and that's what they do. That's how they stay in business, but they're very, very mm -hmm. highly leveraged. And thank God they have someone like Fed uh, and FDIC that will bail them out when there's trouble. Otherwise, they would just collapse. The whole system collapse and everyone goes into dark ages. Um, but yeah, it goes to show you can't really can't really trust them fully. They're not. They're all kind of built on a house of cards, basically. Uh, again, the more you know about money, the more you know about how money really works, the more you get bearish on holding money and more bullish on holding crypto that's just how i feel anyways uh you know the good thing is the good thing is if memory serves me right uh i remember many 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 of those 
FOMC mm -hmm. meetings that I have covered over the years, um, all resulted, or most of them resulted, a major crash afterwards, for whatever reason, even though he didn't say anything, you would see a market downturn. And then literally the next day, you have a gigantic pump. It would not surprise me tomorrow that the entire market goes roaring upwards. It would not surprise me at all because I've seen it so many times in the past. So we'll see. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't, it's not guaranteed, but I've, I've, I've sat through enough of these to know that I remember in many, many, and many instances where after the FOMC meeting, the markets crash, and then literally the next day, we have some crazy rallies. That has happened before many times. So we'll see. But as for Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin went down a little bit, but overall, we're still holding strong at 42,000. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that thinks Bitcoin could go to 100,000 by year end. Morgan Creek Capital CEO Mark Yesko also sees that, yeah, we're going to have some explosive rallies this year. We have only begun, but there are going to be so many rallies this year that will drive us much higher. And it's not just him, too. A study reveals that 84% of investors expect a new all-time high this bull run. Of course, right? If you look at overall, East Asia, Southeast Asia, West Europe, East Europe, and then uh, Menya and Latma. I don't even know what regions they are. Uh, but they're all like 80%, except East Europe. I don't know what their deal is. They believe in banks more. Um, will we break 69,000? Yes. In my opinion, 100% yes. Maybe it's like not 100% for 2024, but 100% in this cycle for sure. No doubt about it. And as for ETFs, well, today we had explosive volume once again a little bit less than yesterday it could be because of the fed meeting so wall street decided to settle down but i have no doubt it's going to start picking up again grayscale unfortunately led the way that does not mean they sold 381 million it just means that they led the way um blackrock and fidelities are still very high and then according to james gbd sells uh, equated to 188 million, which is the slowest outflow so far besides day one. Okay, yesterday it jumped up to about 220 million. So it went down. So that is fantastic. Fantastic. Grayscale is starting to slow down their selling, and the others are picking up. They're going to buy up everything. Supply shock is definitely a real thing and it's building, right? So we'll see what the official numbers are tomorrow and then we'll judge from there, but it's slowing down, which is awesome. We're no longer selling 400, 500, 600 million dollars for the Bitcoin per day, right? And also something that indirectly says that's gonna help Bitcoin a lot is Tether. Tether is making money hand over fist. They're making so much money. They're able to pay back everything, their debt, their commercial bonds, everything, you know, they're making so much money. They could pay back all their debt. They could replace all their bonds and everything with actual cash. So the chances of Tether collapsing is almost zero at this point because they are just making so much money. Like they're just printing money almost. <laughs> um, but, you know, that goes to show you how much demand there is. There is so much institutions, companies, whales, that are going to Tether and saying, hey, take my money, give me USDT. That's why we see billion minted here, billion minted there, because so many people are doing this. And then, of course, they take a cut and so forth, right? And they take a cut of every from every exchange and everywhere. Um, but the good news is they dedicated a portion of their profits to buying Bitcoin. So now Tether holds... 2.8 billion in Bitcoin, and that will only go upwards, right? That is absolutely fantastic. They still hold 3.5 billion worth of precious metal. That's probably gold. So they are trying to be diversified, trying not to go too, too much into just Bitcoin, 
right? They do have several other things like corporate bonds, which is really small, but then they have precious metals, which is most likely gold. Other investments, no idea what that is. Secure loans, okay, it's just loans from companies, right? But eventually what we wanna see is that Bitcoin pile just keep on growing. Hopefully they just stop adding other things and just only add Bitcoin. And of course, that's go add to the supply shock that's already building, right? So indirectly, that's pretty good. Um, speaking of gold, Bitcoin will be twice as scarce as gold in 77 days. What does that mean? Well, the inflation rate. Right now, the inflation rate of Bitcoin is slightly higher than gold. It's about even. But after the halving event, the inflation rate of Bitcoin gets cut in half and then... You know, again, supply and demand, the supply shot I'm talking about, it's going to get really, really hard for the miners to find new Bitcoin. And it's going to be really hard for demand to even attain Bitcoin, I guess. Demand will, will be so high. It's going to be really, really hard to, first of all, none of the new Bitcoins are hitting the market. The miners are storing all that. And if there are any that the miners don't want, it's probably being sold OTC to BlackRock or Coinbase or any of the exchanges, right? So the demand that's building up right now, right? They're all going to be fighting for what exists, not the new Bitcoin that's being mined. That's all spoken for. It's all fighting what exists and what exists now is being eaten up really, really quickly. That supply shock I mentioned, especially after the halving event, that is going to happen soon within basically two and a half months okay it's going to happen it's going to be absolutely huge so don't be discouraged we may have little dips here or there maybe Powell scares the market but i think there's a really good chance tomorrow that we can see a good recovery because that's this always happens at voice immunities we can see a good recovery. And here's the last bit of good news about Bitcoin. Five consecutive green monthly candles. Even though this one, we barely, barely uh, stayed in the green, but we did. We did. Five consecutive months of green. Are we going to make a six month in February? Let's see. Let's see. All right, guys, let's do some Q&A. Oh, today's uh, today's DCA day. Today's DCA day. So I brought up my portfolio hero. Can't even talk. Portfolio. What did I just say? Portfolio. I don't even know what I said. Anyways, all time for my portfolio here, it's still up 14%, even with the downturn. That's fantastic, right? But obviously, I was a little bit higher before. Been doing this since 2021, 100 bucks every Wednesday. And today is a great day to be doing it because look at it, everything's down today. So it's actually a really good time to be DCA. Um, a lot of people are asking me, <laughs> did you get some pork? No. I was thinking about getting GameStop. Yesterday it was like 20 million. Today I see it's like 50 something million. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't, but is it? Is pork the new thing that everyone's trying to pump? I'll take a look at pork after the DCA portfolio. Uh, anyways, today, uh, everything's red, so it's really good. What can I DCA into? Cardano, Polygon, VeChain, all still very, very uh, underperforming. XRP is very underperforming. Um, and XRP got hacked. Well, they didn't get hacked. Kurt Larson got hacked. So, you know, last week I said I was going to sell off a few, like Cadena, Sheep, Doge. I didn't figure out how to do it. Let me see if I can figure out right now. I'm going to click into Cadena. 
transactions. So this is all the stuff I put in there. How do I cancel a transaction? If I edit, oh, I could delete it from here. Oh, okay. Okay, I figured it out. So let me, let me I, I get some extra money then if I sell these. I normally don't ever sell DCA portfolio, but I think it's time. There, there are just some losers that I just don't believe in anymore. Um, so Cadena, I have a uh, hundred and, where is it, total? Or I just lost it. Cadena here. I have $124. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down in my calculator here. And uh, how do I delete all these? I think I just had to, I think I just had to like edit and delete. Session not found. Oh man, it logged me out. Hold on. I gotta log back in. I log back in. Okay, I log back in. I may even sell XRP, guys. All right, let's delete that transaction. Let's delete this transaction. I don't know why it DCA so much into Cadena. Bad moves. All right, so I cleared out Cadena. Now, I'm gonna clear out uh, Sheeb as well. I have $111 there. Uh, so I'm gonna clear that out. I don't have this many transactions with Sheeb. Okay. And then I'm gonna clear out Doge. Wait, did it did it do it? Yeah, and then I'm gonna clear out Doge, which is at ninety-seven dollars. All right, let's see. Is there anything else I don't believe in anymore on this list? Um, EOS, I definitely don't believe in EOS. So I'm gonna put in 40, so that's $41. Let's, do, let's delete that. All right. Um, Ecomi, I no longer believe in Ecomi either. So let's delete that. That's twenty six dollars. Oops. Man, taking massive loss on these. All right. Um, anything else? <sighs> I almost want to give up on ApeCoin. And I kind of want to give up on Gala too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a controversial call and uh, get rid of Gala as well. All right. And I'm gonna make another controversial call. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of XRP. And that's a huge, 
That's a huge portion right there. All right, so that, I, with those, I recovered $852. Everything else I could live with, even though I, I'm not a fan of Polkadot, I could live with them. Algorand, not a fan, I could live with them. Pepe, you know what? I Yeah, I'm going to sell Pepe. I, I don't like Pepe either. Uh, that's $68.65. I'll get rid of Pepe, too. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of Decentraland, too. I don't like them anymore, either. All right. All right. And then uh, Decentraland here at 59, 59.98. Man, I'm going to have a lot to spend today. Okay. All right. I think that's it. There's a lot more balanced now. Uh, chilies. I don't know about chilies. Wait. Did I get rid of Decentraland? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I'll keep chilies in there for now. And flow, I'll keep in there. All right, so I just recovered $980.89, plus I get to spend $100 today. So overall, I get to spend $1,080.89. What can I buy? That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, let's see, out of the ones I did keep, Nier and Polkadot are still very down. I don't think I'm going to add to them. Algorand is Say. Say, I, I do like Say. I think I'm going to definitely add some Say in here. You know what I don't have? I don't have Sui. I, I need to add Sui in here. Um, should I add, like, Myro in here? I do have Myro. Maybe I add a little more Myro since they're down 40-something percent. Um, I could add a little Cock, too since they're down and then um you know you can never go wrong with man would it be too controversial if i sold off eth <laughs> yeah that would be too kind of controversial so I'll, I'll i'll hold off not selling off eth um i can always add to injective injective is low uh, Celestia is low and Say is low. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add all the big stuff. So, um, let's add, okay, first of all, let's add Injective. Let's put in, uh, let's put in $200 worth of Injective. So, I'm gonna, okay, I need another calculator here. So let's put two hundred dollars divided by thirty three point four seven two. So that means I get a five point nine seven five. All right. So now I got eight hundred eighty dollars. So I'm gonna add Celestia. Uh, let's add. Let's add a hundred dollars of Celestia. So 100 divided by 15.891, 2 8. Okay. Now let's add say, let's add $100 of say. Nine. 
Okay, so 100. Uh, I, I said I want to add Sui, so let me find Sui here. Sui, uh, I'm gonna add $200 worth of Sui. So that is 131.75. So, okay, so now I have $480 to spend. Um, Beam, I like Beam. I'm still up on Beam. They haven't moved in a while. Let me add a hundred a hundred dollars into beam. That's a lot. Five nine two seven plus six eight. All right. Uh, I'm gonna add um. I'm gonna add fifty dollars into my row. Okay, I'm going to add $50 into cock. Point. Man, I don't know. There's so many decimal points. I don't even know if this is right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now I have $280 left. I should get rid of Algo. Hey, you know, this is taking too long. So, all right, I have $280 left. Um, I'm just going to throw it into Solana. So that's exactly 2.99. Boom. All right. Did some house cleaning today. I added Sui and added a lot more into the other. So now it's good. Good balance. You got Bitcoin still leading the way about 50%, a little bit less than 50%. Added more to Solana, big bag in this portfolio, and then got rid of all the ones I didn't like. Add an injective, Celestia, say, Sui, a little of beam, a little bit of memes while they're down, Myro and Cock. And, uh, and that's it. That's it. Away we go. All right. Let's do some Q&A. Uh, Joseph, what, what, what do you want to know? <laughs> I know just as much as you do, so <laughs> you tell me you tell me what you want to know and what your thoughts are. Yeah, I mean, th this is not a secret, guys. This is a portfolio I've been building since 2021, but obviously this is not my real portfolio. My real portfolio is many, many, many zeros more than this. It's obviously, since I've been DCAing for a long time and been buying crypto for a long time, but I did this to prove a point that if you simply DCA for a long time, especially into the good coins, Bitcoin and a lot of the good alts, you know, you will win, you will profit, right? And that's the whole point of showing this because I've been DCAing since 2021, all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, and now to where we are, I have no doubt that this portfolio right here, by the end of 2025, I could see this at $200,000 plus. I really think a 10X from here, especially in the next two years, um, is really possible. And I'm going to show it because every Wednesday I'm going to show this. <laughs> Um, 
What's a good way to get airdrops? You gotta pay attention to these to these uh, projects that announce them. <laughs> you know, they a lot of them pre-announce obviously because they want you to know about it for you to use it. Just learn about them and start using them. That's it. These people that that got a ton of airdrops from Jupiter uh, is quite simply they just used it, used it a lot. Good job, thank you for that. Uh, thoughts on GTAI? I don't know. I don't know about it. Someone asked me about pork. Man, I'm so disappointed over this one. I was looking at it yesterday. I'm like, man, a new GME coin, right? Can it do well? Because it's on Solana. Everything's so freaking hot on Solana. Um, it went up 120%. Yesterday I was looking at this. It was like 20 million. And now it's at 55 million. That's crazy. Um, someone asked about pork. Is a pork? Is a Pepe fork? It's called pork. Or is it avalanche pork? Avalanche has a pork and Solana has a pork. This one's only 16K, so it can't be this one. So it's probably this one, Pepe Fork. It's not looking good, too. I don't know which pork it is. I just did. I don't know which pork. Pork is on ETH. Oh, ETH stuff is not hot. What's pork on ETH? This fork of pork? No. This one? Well, that doesn't look good. Is this the pork? That just dumped. <laughs> Do these airdrops hurt a price Solana? No. They're not airdropping Sol. They're airdropping, um, in this case, Jupiter. Thoughts on Ando? I don't really have any thoughts on Ando. 200 million. This is not 200 million. Oh, this one? It is. Well, I don't know why that one listed. Well, it's too late now. Even if you got in yesterday and went up 80%, which is great, but it's already 230 million. This is ridiculously stupid. You know, it's, it's zero, zero point of getting into this. If this was at 2 million, yeah, because you could still make 100x just to get to 220 million. But yeah. And again, I don't support any memes that reuse a name from another meme. Honk dumped even though it has 3 million volume. I don't know why it dumped. I was, I was actually looking at it. I'm like, why did they dump so much today? It's probably because something else is hot. So whoever like had a lot and honk dumped it to buy something else. But you know, I still have mine. So hopefully, hopefully they uh, come back. I bought when is it good? Not for me. Zen crypto. And it's mass adoption. Doesn't look like there's any mass adoption here. Uh, liquidity provider looks like. I don't. I don't know of what mass adoption you speak of. Doesn't seem like there's any mass adoption here. C 
CIA, CIA protocol. What a horrible name. Who wants to who wants to buy a crypto named after CIA? What a horrible that was just glaring. Um, I'm just gonna not look at this. Tales from the Crypt. As far as I know, Ben has not told me he's not fighting. I think he is still, still committed to fight More Light, who is the founder of Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Inu. Um, so, yeah, I, I think he's still fighting. I haven't heard otherwise. Why did he get rid of Doge? I just don't believe in Doge anymore. The price, but... The price potential of Doge is just not not that appealing anymore. If I'm going to get into a meme, which I have been getting into memes, uh, I want to see that 100x, 1000x, right? I don't want to just see a 10x. I could get my 10x from my soul. I get my 10x from Avalanche and Chainlink. Um, if I'm going to get into a meme, I want to see that 100x or 500x or 1000x. And Doge is not going to be providing 100x. Uh, Polyswarm and Hopper. I don't know what Hopper is. We're building a private internet for everyone. Okay. They're using the same building from, uh, from an Avengers movie. Um, I'll tell you this. This is not the first project I've seen to, to like try to take on uh, traditional internet and try to create something else with their nodes, it's virtually impossible. And there's no point of it. It's not going to work. No one's going to give up traditional internet. No one's going to give up TCIP and regular DNS servers for something that is just not going to be popular for a long time or ever. Art says snack. I'm still rooting for them. Uh, do you like any sex tokens? If you if you hold them because you're trying to get rewarded or get lower trading fees, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And a lot of them have actually been doing very well. They've been actually going up in value. So it wouldn't hurt to hold some from your favorite exchanges that you use. Uh, what's up? Uh, Thank you. Are you still bullish on Polygon? Yes, I am. I am. Uh, Davis asks, where do you find out about airdrop news? Just go to all the publications. That's the easiest way. And check out what other people are talking about on X. Um, you know, a lot of these projects, they do share the airdrop news and there's news coverage. Sometimes other people are talking about it. There's There's no like, I'm, I don't know if there's any official site that talks about all the airdrops. There may be, but you just have to spend some time. Or you could join Patreon. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we have covered many airdrops before. We did cover Jitto before it came out. I'm, I'm pretty sure we covered Jupiter 2 before it came out. So you could also join Patreon and have our team tell you. Um, Aiken Patriot. D-Race, your thoughts on this cycle? DR. Uh, I'm assuming it's a game or it's a fitness app. Explore D-Race. It's a complete NFT horse racing ecosystem. Horse racing. Own a racehorse. One of a kind NFT racehorse in your stable. 
Uh, okay. I guess it's cool. It's a game with horse racing. Uh, I would never, I would never in a million years look up a horse racing game. That's just me. But the graphics looks okay. <laughs> I, I just say, okay, it's not bad, I guess. NFT racehorse is cool, uh, I guess. Different taste for different people. Uh, what's your prediction in Ordi being desang? I like Ordi. I mean, it's a it's a meme coin too. It's a meme coin for for Bitcoin, so why not? Have you had a chance to enjoy generally used two thousand one Honda Civic yet? No, I have not. Have you looked at Seed Bonsai? Yes. I'm actually a visor for Bonsai. Um, I invested early. Um, you know, I, I, I'm hoping they expand to Solana. So basically what they're doing, two things. They're a launch pad and also their token creation project. But right now it's more the ETH based, right? I'm hoping they can create Solana based tokens, which I know they're working on. And then also help people actually, you know, uh, create create the pools um, within DEXs, right? I think that's another thing they're working on, but they've been actually doing pretty well since launch. Why do people keep asking about Ando? I, I don't get people's fascination with it. This is this is a banking crypto. Like, why why would you want to get involved with this? I just covered how banks are collapsing. Okay, so why would you be interested in a banking crypto project? No, I'm never gonna check out Ando again. I'm gonna memorize it in my head now, and I'm never gonna check it again. Um, check out Shade Protocol and Soul Ordi, Ordi Tech NFT AR. That seems like it's just a copy of Ordi, but it's on Solana, so I'm not going to check that out. Again, if you're going to create a project, don't try to steal someone else's name or another meme and try to, like, you know, put on another chain. Uh, Shade Protocol, it's at zero with no volume. So, I think it's dead. Uh, people are talking about Ando because it got listed on Coinbase recently. Well, that's no surprise then. Because BlackRock and everyone else is probably, you know, pushing them for that. Do you know anything about Punk? No, I just know a whole bunch of people are trying to shill it upwards, or at least they were trying to. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tato Mills? No, I will not help it grow. Zen is not a liquidity provider. It's fairly minted crypto. Anyone can mine Zen. It's completely decentralized. Well, Ben, if you know about it so much, why are you asking me about it? But it does look like it's a liquidity provider, though. It has a bunch of liquidity pools for other projects. So they're obviously in that space, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Deep Dish. Uh, promising memes. I don't know. There's so many that's coming out every day. I don't know. People just ask me about pork and it's at 200 million. Um, you know, GameStop, I missed that. That seems promising because GameStop people might ape into that. I don't know. Or it could be dumped to zero. Um, I would say that, you know, the smaller ones, I still like Kulo, still support them. 
Not doing so well right now, but I know that Moon Daddy's not giving up on it, so that's good. Um, you know, he's still got like a favorite like Snack, a new one like Cock, Kimball's also fairly small, Myro, you know, fairly big. These are some good ones that I like. Um, heard Sona is doing something similar to Bonsai, but doing liquidity lending for developers, kind of initialize the pool from a DAO. Never heard that before. So many zeros. And I have no idea what Phoenix box is. That's a weird, that's a weird decks to be listing on maybe they're just too early first bar rifleman in my opinion, meme coins hurt the legitimacy of the industry. They are doing so many scams in the industry. More than half the memes are rug pulls. Basically, they all are. No, that's not true. That's just your conception of them. But actually, a lot of the new me a lot of the new memes are not rug pulls. Uh, second of all, you know there's penny stocks too, right? Does the penny stocks hurt the legitimacy of other great stocks? You know, there's millions of penny stocks out there. Do they hurt the legitimacy of Microsoft or Apple or IBDI or Coinbase? The answer is no. So, no, it doesn't hurt the legitimacy of the crypto space. Bitcoin already has an ETF. It's recognized by the SEC as a commodity. Same thing with Ethereum. And same thing with XRP. And more institutions are going to jump in regardless of memes. And in fact, a lot of them... I think like memes because it brings more volume and people to the chains. So even though, yes, there are a lot of memes that are bad, formed by bad people and they're pump and dumps and rug pulls or whatever, it does not make them all bad and certainly does not hurt the legitimacy of the industry. That's the wrong one. It, Sonata, it doesn't even show up. Beats by Darius. <clears throat> Am I still holding snack? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean I, I, I'll tell you guys this story, whether you like it or not. In 2022 and in 2023, just throughout my daily life on vacation to wherever, I, I met people that are fans. And I asked them, how did you come into the space? What brought you here? Right. Guess what majority of them said? Oh, I got in because of sheep, right? That's what sheep did in 2021. It brought in an enormous amount of people in this space. Now, a lot of them left, but a lot of them stayed. They kept holding or they started looking at others. And I bet a lot of you guys will say the same thing. So that's the power of memes. Now, is sheep a rug pull? No. I mean, they're actually trying to build. Is Doge a rug pull? No, right? Um, so when you have good memes, they do bring in massive amount of people into the space and a lot of them stay, you know, and that's a good thing. So I'm a, yeah, it's, it looks like it's a dead meme. Oh, 
Well, it's not that. It's going sideways. I take that back. It's going sideways. At 5 million, I guess it's hanging in there. Nothing to really to check out. Our NFT is dead. See, Nito said that. You're right. I got in because of sheep. I'm telling you, so many people I met, they said they got in because of sheep. And this cycle, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to meet a lot of people that say, hey, I got in because of Bonk, right? Or I got in because of, I don't know, Whiff or Myra or whatever it's going to be. Um, that's not going to change. Um... Are NFTs dead? No, it's just not. The market is not hot enough for NFTs to blow up. When we have true altcoin season, which will probably be second half of 2024, no, five, that's when NFTs will get hot. It'll get really, really hot. All right, guys, I got to go. It's a late stream. Anyways, so one kid made a million dollars from a Jupiter airdrop. So that means you couldn't too. All you had to do is pay attention and use. Um, so that's fantastic for him. And we'll see where Jupiter goes. And then uh, we had a little, I guess, I don't know, a little bad news from Paul. I don't know if it's bad news. He just said it's probably not going to be a, there's probably not going to be a cut in March. That's it. That's all he really said. Um, but you know what? Tomorrow could be a really good day. So we'll see. Join in tomorrow. 7.30 a.m. No, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right? I'll see you guys tomorrow.